Hey there, good folks. Dr. Charlie here. Welcome to today. Let us get our, let's, let us take our three deep breaths to gather and center and really just commune with one another today. And then we'll go ahead and dive into our topic for Charlie Chats. Remember you're breathing into the bottom of your belly. Breathe in. Fill up your belly like a balloon. One more time, breathe all the way in to the bottom of your belly. And sigh on release. <sighs> in light of everything that's happening, I wanna talk about the energy of crisis and how we can manage something without being in the energy of crisis. So think about that. I'm not going to talk too much about what it means to be in the energy of crisis, but I bet you can imagine it. I bet you can imagine the adrenaline pumping through your system and your crisis also often calls us to action, like immediate action. Here's what we can do. And crisis energy takes our power. So crisis energy being in that when we're not in a legitimate personal immediate right now crisis, being in that energy can be that's a way that our power is not within us. It's it's these these things out here that are happening to me and I don't have any control or there's nothing I can do about that. So let's, especially during this time, let us be mindful. Let us be aware. Let us be present to the idea that we can manage in a way that gives us the power. If you can focus on things that you can do, if you can focus on ways you can be present for both yourself and other people around you. I made some broth last night and it is delicious. And my intent is to really just bring, drink some broth every day, maybe twice a day until I need to make some more broth and then I'll do it again and I'll repeat that. But the act of nourishing myself on purpose is a way to deal with something that we may not know a whole lot about and to do that in a way that is in alignment, that keeps me centered, that keeps me grounded, that helps me focus on what it is I'd like to see and how it is I'd like to show up. And again, I really want to encourage you to take this time, many of us are at home, and to take this time to evaluate, perhaps reevaluate who you think you are and how you show up in the world. Is that something that you want? This is a great opportunity to evaluate your priorities and say, this is my priority. And can you do that not in a crisis mode? Can you say, okay, I have a roof over my head. I have food in my belly. I'm here perhaps with loved ones, perhaps, uh, perhaps by yourself uh, or in a household or whatever. Whatever your household situation is, chances are very good that you are home right this moment uh, as, as this is being taped live. And can you evaluate, is this a job that you have been talking about how much you hate it over and over again? You know what? You're going to keep getting the job that you keep talking about how much you hate it over and over again. You're going to keep getting the job that you hate. What do you love about your job? It might be working from home. <laughs> it might be the fact that you don't have to be there and be around your colleagues who you may not care for. Managing your own emotional stability, managing your own sense of emotions, um, and that includes if you know that you're not able to manage them, getting the help that you need. But bringing that, bringing the locus of power inside into each individual for us to say, first of all, how can I do my part? But second of all, that is based on who I think I am and how I'm showing up in the world. And so getting in alignment with those really does retain you, your power with and for you. How can you, how can you serve here? What, what can you do? What can you speak into existence that isn't in crisis mode? And that is not negating what is actually happening. It is in a way being unavailable for it to say, I'm going to do this thing over here. I'm, I'm washing my hands much more often and, and being leisurely about it. 
and I'm making broth and I'm drinking hot liquid and I'm doing those things and I am not being super close to people when I have to be around them. I am doing those things certainly and I'm, I encourage you to find the place of power and focusing on the things that are your contribution to the energy of all of this, of this global thing. I was talking with a friend of mine yesterday and she is in the healthcare field though not not quite in the fray of it at the moment. And she said, you know what? In the 20s, there seems to be some sort of health thing, worldwide health thing. And so that was very interesting to take the long view on that. Um, whether it was a flu or a plague or whatever, these things have happened in the 20s of their respective century. So that's really interesting to look and say, this is a cyclical thing. And what is a cyclical thing asking us to do? Um, it's, I, I, I believe that it is asking us to heal. It is asking us to grieve um, in both in tandem. Sometimes you're healing, sometimes you're grieving, sometimes grieving is healing. So I, I believe it's asking us to heal. I believe it's asking us to grieve the things both individually and collective that perhaps we need to grieve. And I believe that it's asking us to reconnect with ourselves and our priorities and doing that from a locus of control that says, I am a co-creator of my world at a collective level. Now, that's a heavy thing to say, perhaps, and maybe you are not aware of the power that that carries, but I can assure you that the world you're living in and the world you think you're living in, you perceive yourself to be living in, is the world that you believe to be so. So let's find our own locus of power and let's find that at the individual level because I've been saying for a while now that what we're being asked to do in this collective point of time is to really be the best version of ourselves. Who is that? What do they do? What do they look like? What do, how do they show up in the world? How do they show up for themselves? How do I show up for myself in the time when things are uncertain and ever changing. So I leave you with that today. If you are interested in the more in my world, please come and join me in my world uh, over at drcharliebrown.com. Charlie with just an eye and brown like the color. I also have a course out called Practical Tools for Everyday Wellness. It is an online course and I invite you to check it out. It gives us concrete things that we can do every day. It's a, it's a short journey. It's a five or so minute video each day once you sign up. And I'll leave the link for that in the description here. I do hope you join me on any of these endeavors. And until we meet again, I am Dr. Charlie Brown. I want you to take great care.